What's going on guys, my name is Lockie and today I'm going to share with you 12 ways to make your van conversion a lot easier. I'm going to roll the intro then we're going to get straight into it. Okay, so number one, make a list of everything you're going to do at the end of every day for the following day. So what do I mean by that is when you finish your day at work, cross off on your list what you've done that day and then make a list for the following day as to what you have to complete. That way when you come into the next day you'll know exactly what you have to do and you don't have to muck around sort of wondering where you're going that day. So number two is measure twice, cut once. So by this I mean if you're running cables or your pipe for your plumbing or you're installing your cupboards, before you cut anything Make sure you've measured it twice and it is exactly the way you want it. Because once it's cut, that's it. There's no going back. So number three is just make a routine of how you're going to work each and every day. So your start times, try and make them the same. Your finish times, your lunch times, breaks, coffee breaks, whatever you have. Make them all the same so every day you know exactly what time you're going to start, when you're going to finish, when's lunch, etc, etc. It just makes things flow a lot easier, i found. And if I didn't know when I was going to start, I was a bit lazier and I'd sleep in. And then by the time I got there, it was already lunchtime and I've wasted half the day. So number four would be have a plan of some sort, whether it's in your mind or you've drawn it out on a piece of paper or whatever. Have some sort of a plan to what you want so you're not going in blindfolded. So what we did before we bought the van, we actually went to a dealership and measured out the dimensions and then came back home and sort of taped everything on the floor. And then we put cardboard boxes all around so it was sort of going to be our van. And it made sort of an idea as to what we want and then we drew it out on a piece of paper and it just made everything sort of really, really easy. So number five is clean up as you go. It's very easy to get lost and distracted in the day and as you work and you're throwing stuff around and you just lose stuff and then you can't find it again and all of a sudden you've wasted an hour trying to look for a hammer. That happens very regularly to a lot of people so it's just easier to put things back where they came from and it'll make your day so much easier because there's nothing worse than having to find that hammer or find that drill and you're wandering around where it is it just makes your day a lot harder and a lot more stressful so clean up as you go that is probably the biggest tip you're going to get so number six is a really big one for me and it's having emergency snacks so for me between when we start work and lunchtime the last few hours I start to get very hangry and no one wants to be around me because I'm just in a mood and I'm angry and I'm throwing stuff and it's just, it's not pleasant. So what I started doing was just carrying around a little packet of lollies or I'd have something in my bag ready to go. Just in those few hours at about 10 o'clock when I started to feel that bit of hanger coming on. So number seven is allow for expansion. So for us this is pretty big as we installed 200 watt solar on our roof and we found out recently that we do want a bit more. Luckily when we ran our original cables we ran big enough cables that it can go up to 600 watts of solar. That way now we can sort of make our solar system bigger without having to run new cables which is really really lucky. And it's the same for plumbing. We ran hot water pipes before we had a hot water system. Basically so just in case that we wanted to upgrade it was ready to go. And luckily we did because we did upgrade to a hot water system and the pipes were already there which made it a lot easier. So number eight is have portable lights and portable heating ready to go. We built our van in Europe in November, December and it was very, very cold and it got very dark very quickly. So what we did was we just brought along a little portable light and a portable heater that we just plugged into power and as it got darker and colder as the day went on, we would just close the door, turn them on and we'd be set till about seven o'clock at night which was really, really good. So number nine is draw out diagrams for everything. So by this I mean if if you're building a cupboard for above the kitchen or you're building your kitchen cupboard when you measure it write it down directly on that piece of paper and have a little drawing to match if I was going to cut one piece of timber and I, all I needed was one piece I would write that down so if for any reason I had to go away and do something else or whatever it was I knew that I had that written down I could come back and there it was in my notepad ready to go which leads me on to the next point is carrying a little notepad so everything you do you can write down in this notepad so if you're going to go to the hardware store to pick up something and you get there then you've forgotten and then you got to go back and you realize you haven't got it that's your own fault carry your notepad and write down exactly what you need or the measurements you're going to cut to or whatever that way it's always in your pocket it's always ready to go so the next one is at the end of every day if you're using portable tools make sure you plug them in and charge them for the next day I don't know how many times I've gotten to work and people haven't charged the portable batteries and you end up going to a job with a flat battery. It's pretty embarrassing and makes you look like a fool. So make sure you charge your batteries every 
night. Or if you're using two batteries, always keep one on charge and one as you're working. So the next one is packing your own lunch. This is such a big one because you can waste so much time in going to get lunch or drinks or snacks with people, coffee, whatever. You can end up wasting one and a half, two hours each and every day. And over every day that adds up. So make sure you pack your lunch. That way you can just have a quick snack or a quick bite to eat and then get straight back into your work so your van can be done a lot quicker. So our last point is just take your time relax just enjoy yourself you know if you're having problems with something walk away for half an hour you know go sit down relax and then come back to it and restart what you're doing with a fresh mind so don't be afraid to reach out to other people as well who might have done a van conversion similar to yours or something like that i'm sure they're happy to help you give you some advice and point you in the right direction so thanks for watching guys if you have any other points you want to raise please drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time